I think maybe two weeks ago, mm-hmm. um, sadly, there was um, an incident that happened on social media where a few women were being accused of um, being toxic or harassing or bullying fellow women at the workplace. Did you hear about it? Yes, in person, yes. Yes. Do you, and and from it, it almost felt like it was perpetuating this age-long uh, perception that, you know, women, we are our own worst enemies. You know, mm. people like feeling that. I don't believe in that myself. No. Yeah. But what did you, what did you make of that incident? Okay, I think that the first and foremost things that you see on social media yeah. is just one side of the story. Yeah. yeah. So no matter how thin you cut it, always check the other side of the story. So that's the first thing. Mm-hmm. And I found in, in a leadership space, it's so important to be objective, irrespective of how emotive the situation is, yeah. to check what's the inner story, what's the inner scope. That's the first. Secondly, this whole idea that women are their worst enemies. I think human beings are their own worst enemies. Let's remove the gender piece. Let's just remove that. And so, because you see, the minute I doubt myself, I'm critical towards myself, then I'm already an enemy towards myself. And unfortunately, I can't give you what I don't have. So if I'm critical towards myself, what do I look at you through? A lens of criticism. In fact, that was my doctoral research. And I was, I was seeking uh, to answer the research question, what are the barriers that hold women back from becoming transformational leaders? And I was, you know, it was so exciting that research because I had a chance to interview both men and women, and then I had a committee of experts who are seasoned leaders. And what was fascinating is, out of the seven areas that could hold people back, the one that is most pervasive, the one that is most intense, that has the biggest impact, is internal barriers. And that's why I'm so excited about the work you're doing through this show and the work we do at Breakthrough Leadership Transformation and our newly launched RISE School, because the work on the inside is where the work is to be done. If we can work on our internal atmosphere and deal with the baggage, the pain, the regrets, the shame, because we all have that. Even the two of us here, as glam as we may look, we all have it, but we've got to find a way to deal with it and then shed light on how others can deal with those those challenges. So the internal work is the one that unlocks the internal barriers. My third point around um, this whole thing of um, women being toxic. My, my experience with toxicity is very much born out of pain and insecurity. When I see cultures, and I think many organizations, and sometimes high-performing organizations, the price they pay is that their culture is toxic. So yes, they're growing, they're hitting their budgets and exceeding them. But when you look at the culture, which is really the impact of how they work on the human spirit of the employees, then it's toxic. And why is it toxic? Because it's fueled by a scarcity mentality. The only way I can go up is by elbowing and stepping and leaving dead bodies figuratively behind as I climb up. Another piece has to do with realizing that people think that growth is only one way. And so I go up the ladder. When I get to the top, I throw off the ladder so no one else can come up. Worse still, I jump the elevator so no one else can, it can go back to pick more people. That's really an, a false and negative way of looking at leadership. But you see, why do people do this? This is, for me, that's always the question. Why would I want to throw off the ladder? I don't think people really were born nasty. These are learned things, eh? You learn to be nasty, you learn to be toxic because maybe the environment you're in is pushing you in that direction. When you think of survival, my only way is to cover my back. So then I have to be like that. Or I choose to go against it, which requires so much more energy and effort. See, so toxicity is just an iceberg. What we should be doing is finding out what's really going on beneath the surface. 